Hey, this is Good Names, and welcome to a quick series on tutorials on how to code in Space Engineers, or SEC Sharp, in a way to call it. I'm also going to be trying to do once a day for how long I can do it. But beside the point, I'm going to be showing off how to do their code they showed in their upload video of randomly turning on and off lights. So my background is actually in Java, but Java was actually created, I guess, from the C series. The person who made Java wanted to make C except without the ability to have so many errors in it, errors occurring that you didn't put parentheses or something. Well, that's still in it. So the basics of coding, when you hit run, it starts out from void main and continues on to do everything that's within its curly braces. There are closing curly braces here because that is closing this if statement and this is the for loop closing. So everything in here runs. But before it does it, it starts out and initializes this stuff. I don't know really what to call it. Initializing actually means something else in coding language. But it starts out making random or RDM, which represents the random generator of C sharp. Now, whenever it's a, I use the term RDN, it will activate the random gizmo thing. Second, it will make a list of all the terminal blocks, all the blocks that you can modify with like the button panel and such. They have a whole list as I'll have in the description a link to a whole list of all the shortcuts such as I am interior lights, they have I am gravity generator and everything that you can possibly need in space engineers. And that will make a list of all the term terminal blocks with the name blocks creative. A lot of coding is very direct. And then it, in it starts out the code. It's kind of redundant this part up here where it goes and clears the whole list of blocks but at least it has the parameters or the length needed to hold all the different blocks that are on your system or your platform, whatever you might be using. This is a station, so it's using all the station blocks. I do believe that it goes out through rotors, but I'm not certain of that. But as soon as they clear the whole thing, they go through and fill it up with all the different names of they clear blocks and it, then they fill it with all the different names of the interior blocks. That is this system. It goes through using this. It gets all the blocks of the type I, my interior lights. That always looks like an L to me, but it's an I in their font. Really bad version of coding font. But then once it has all the blocks loaded in, it will then go into a for loop. A for loop is Basically, loops are repetitions of code until something is met, or in the case of a for loop, it will do it a certain amount of times. The first part here before the semicolon defines where it starts at. The counter in this case is i, and it starts at zero. So the first time through, the, count is, the counter is set to zero. And then it will do this loop all the way for all the times that the counter is less than the total number of interior lights. That is what this is reading out. The values of interior lights in a list always start at zero. So if they actually started at one, you would have to have the equal sign, but this is for all the interior light blocks. And then this part just says that I increases by one each time it goes through there's not that many hoops that they skip, so you always have to put this in. You can also say i is equal to equal to i plus 2, which would then do every other step. But the terminology plus plus just increases it by 1. Now, the var block, this makes a variable named blocks, and that basically is just whatever interior whatever interior light is currently in the list of blocks that is at position i. Because it starts at zero, it will get 
the interior light that in the list of blocks is number zero because it starts at zero and works up. Now, this is where the random generation of numbers comes in. I use the RDN, RND, so that means that a random value is going to be called. And then this next part says what the value parameters can be. Next double just says any number between zero and one can be called. So it chooses a random number between zero and one. Now, halfway through is 0.5. I have no clue why this F is. As I said, I'm background in Java, not C. So the F is just supposed to be there for some odd reason. So halfway through is 0.5. So it will 50% of the time, this statement will be true. The other 50%, it will be false. And this is an if statement. So if this is actually true, if the random number is greater than 0.5, it will do whatever is in these two curly braces, which is turning the block on and off. Now this part is block, which is the interior light that you are modifying for this pass through of the for loop. It will take the block and then use get action with name, a part of space engineers, their code, which is why it's SE C sharp and it will use the on off action it will get that action from their whole compiling of actions in space engineers and then it will apply that to block thus when it goes into here it will turn the interior light that is represented by the position i in the list of blocks it will turn that either on or off it will do the toggle fun function that you see in the button panels. Now I'm having this run. Nope, it was good originally. Now it will go every second because these timer blocks are calling the whatever the program block to run each time, every second, and then they are calling each other, which causes all these lights to turn on and off. And then in this giant array over here, I have it showing off that it can work for as many blocks as you have, as many interior lights, as I miss the gravity, as many interior lights that you do have. I turn this off for lag, but just to give you an example that it actually works, I'll start this up. So all the lights are on and I have modified the random value. You can modify the 0.5 to either anywhere between one and zero to get more or less lights to flicker each time. I create, I increase the value which decreases the amount of times that that if statement is read. I'll go back to that. And thus less lights are being run. See, I have a 2.95 if I were to turn this to 0, 0.5, which is less, this statement will be more off, will be true more often. This will read from 0 to 1, and point f so 5% of the time, it will not actually go into this loop. You can switch that around, but easier to think of it that this is the amount of times that it will not go through. So yes, remember changes, get out of here. And now basically all of them change at once which gives a cool effect, but eh, have it yourself. So that's about it. Enjoy coding in Space Engineers, and I'll see you in the next one, hopefully coming out tomorrow.